Um, this is my dog, Lily. She's a Shiba Inu, which is a Japanese breed. Very smart. Um, she's four years old, and I chose to paint her in the landscape because she's a primitive breed, and it, putting her in her natural setting just seemed uh, more appropriate. Also, I've tried painting her before, but I'm so close to her that it's hard for me to paint her. And it took me a while to get to uh, figuring out something that I really felt good about. Lily loves nothing better than to be out in nature and running around and playing with other dogs. From the time she was eight weeks old, I socialized her heavily. So she loves people, loves other dogs. Um, the first three years were a little hairy because they're a handful. They're not intended for first-time dog owners. <laughs> Lily, sit. Sit. Good girl. Um, so you're always challenged with who's going to be the pack leader. She thinks it's her job. Well, Lily, Lily's with me 24-7. She's my studio dog, my buddy. She sleeps with me. Um, at this point, I can't even imagine my life without her. Well, you wonder that when they're looking at them, if they recognize that that's their species or not. Uh, I have no idea. And I'm actually glad I don't know what she thinks. <laughs> I, I think she swears. <laughs> So, I'd like to introduce you to Chiquita, who's a little chihuahua, obviously, um, and her owner, Elizabeth. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about Chiquita? Well, Chiquita uh, lives with a German Shepherd who weighs about 100 pounds, um, and Chiquita weighs 8, which is really overweight, but she rules the entire house. So, uh, and she knows it, and I think Kim really captured that, that aspect of her in the painting very well. Kim painted Lucy uh, as just her face, which, you know, it, it doesn't include her body, but I think for Chiquita it was really important to include her body because uh, her presence is, is really much more palpable from her entire body and sitting on that pink couch I think which is a real couch <laughs> and the whole house does not look like that but but it just was so perfect and um, I think Kim really captured that. It's Chiquita's pink throne. <laughs> okay we're back with Elizabeth and this is Lucy who Lucy has a story behind how she came to you Understand. Yes, she uh, lived on the streets of South Central, and uh, and so we got her when she had been out on the streets for about a year, and uh, so she was emaciated and very sick, and uh, wouldn't get in a car for about a year and a half, and was just a, had a lot of anxiety and stuff. But now she is uh, very spoiled and <laughs> and has become. Uh, a really amazing pet. She's very gentle, even though she's a shepherd that has a connotation, but she is the gentle one in the family. And uh, ever since Chiquita, the Chihuahua, came into her life, she's become even more normalized because she used to par parcel her food out uh, by, so that she would have enough by the end of the day. But when Chiquita came along, that was it. She had competition, so <laughs> now she eats every, every morsel in the first two seconds, so. <laughs> um, how do you feel about the portrait of Lucy? Well, I think it's amazing because it, uh, it, it just brings that dignity that she has, even though she lived on the streets for so long, you can just see so much of her life. It almost makes me cry to look at it because the, what you captured about her eyes and, and her face is just, it tells eons about about what's in her head and what she's seen. And uh, I think she knows that she, she has it pretty good right now. I think so. <laughs> she has a very soulful face. Yeah, she does. Um, and the eyes are really what captured me about doing, doing her just a head and shoulders to get that across. They're almost like human eyes. Yeah, and I feel that much. when I look in her face, you just, they're so smart and they feel so much, so. Yeah. 
So this is Hash. He's sit, sit boy. It's all right. <laughs> He's a standard poodle, right? He is a standard poodle, probably the largest standard you'll ever see. 95 pounds of muscle. <laughs> and um, can you tell us something about him? So he started he out- He started out as a mean little puppy because he was three times as large as his brothers and sisters in the litter. And he knew it, and uh, he would jump on them every time he had an opportunity. Uh, he ran yeah. the roost, huh? Yes, he ran the roost. <laughs> and he, caused, he uh, ate all kinds of things in the house, chewed on them, ate on them, regular puppy thing, and he, I mean, he would stay by them after he'd ruined them. He'd stay by them and sit there and <laughs> wanted you to be sure that you, you, you saw it and that he did it. <laughs> proud of his handiwork. Huh? Yeah, yes. proud of his handiwork. <laughs> Good. He's turned into uh, a very well-behaved dog. Very As well. we can see. <laughs> so when you first came into the gallery and saw him? And I said, He's immortal now. <laughs> Kimberly Merrill has, has uh, made my dog immortal, which I think is what Churchill said to Karsh. <laughs> um, this is Robin Planker. This is uh, Zuzu, her dog. Uh, Robin, can you tell us a little bit about Zuzu and her breed? And I have no idea what she is. Um, oh. She is a formerly feral dog. A friend of mine wow. actually caught her. And um, she's, she's fantastic. She's civil. It took a few months to civilize her, and now she actually does tricks. Um, she recently won a, a trick contest, and she paid for the, her food this month. Oh. <laughs> a trick contest? Yeah, yeah at Sentinella Feed. She did really well. Oh, that's great. <laughs> okay, so let's try it. Okay. Sneak, sneak.